James Holder for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin Gym right now. I'm in Manchester today with me. I've got Jose Tapida's manager, Rob Hernandez. Uh, yes. First and foremost, good to meet you, Rob. Nice to meet you as well. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, mate. Um, I've been working with Jose for about four and a half years now. So I'm from uh, Los Angeles. Uh, my father actually is uh, Mike Hernandez. Uh, he okay. used to advise Oscar De La Hoya uh, back in the day from 93 to 99. Uh, he was his senior advisor, so all my experience and knowledge, everything comes from him. Um, so he's kind of my advisor uh, at this point, and he's helped me learn about the um, sport. And you know, I think we've done a pretty good job. You know, he's been he's been involved as well, and with Robert and Jose and the team, uh, I think uh, we're ready now, and Jose will come back home with a title. What can you tell me about Jose Zapida? He's he's a new entity to us British people. How much can you tell me about him? Uh, he's a great kid. He's humble. He comes from a great family. Uh, he's Mexican-American. He has very strong roots to his family in Mexico as well. Um, but at that point too, uh, I know he's ready um, for the challenge to become champion, and um, and he's dedicated. Um, one of the you know most people I admire um, as far as athletes, because I've been around tons of athletes through the years, and he has a work ethic like you know. Nobody else I've seen, even Oscar. I mean, Oscar was very dedicated as far as at the gym and everything, and Jose's, you know, just right there. I mean, talking about some of the people who's been in the ring and sparring, maybe not for this fight, but leading up to other fights in camps, the likes of Mayweather, the likes of Victor Ortiz. Mm -hmm. He's been in Timothy Bradley. He's been in very good company, hasn't he? Yes. Yeah, and those have been uh, great experiences, and Jose held, has uh, held his own. And I think he's surprised, actually, if you them, just like Floyd and Tim, uh, even they get out of the ring and they're like, like, whoa, what was that? Or, you know, so I know that he's ready. And um, if he's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with someone like Floyd uh, or Tim, I mean, I don't really know who else out there can really challenge Jose, to be honest. What can you tell me about Manchester's Terry Flanagan? How much do you and the team know about Terry? And is he, is he someone you've studied a lot leading up to this fight? Um, I haven't really studied it. Um, like Jose mentioned, uh, we leave that up to Robert. Uh, he's a trainer. I have taken a look at him though, and uh, he's a good boxer. I know he likes to counter and things like that. Uh, but I think Jose has the speed for that uh, at that point. But I know uh, Terry's going to bring everything he has, and especially with the city of Manchester behind him. Um, there's some rowdy sports fans here, as we know, from Man United. Um, so I know they're going to be out there supporting him. But um, I know Jose is—he's uh, ready. He has, and he has a mental game. Uh, to handle that, and I'm, that's not even a concern. <laughs> the United fans will be all right. It's the Manchester City fans you better watch yeah. out for. They're Terry's lot. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, they're, sorry. They're, yeah. They don't like each yeah, other either, so you'll yeah, be yeah. all right. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's last but not least, is there any other fighters from your organization we should look out for, or any other fighters that you, you manage that um, we, we would no, know about? No, actually, Jose's the only one. He's my uh, my uh, the only person I have my focus on at this point, and uh, I don't have any plans to have anybody else right now. I just want to keep my attention on Jose and, and go from there. So. Got to focus and get this title going, and then uh, keep his uh, keep his career progressing. How good do you think Jose Zapita, Zapita can be, in your opinion? Um, I want to say Hall of Famer, um, but probably right after he wins the first title first. But I think, to be honest, he can win in four different weight classes, from 35 to 54. Um, easy. He has the punch, um, so it's all about um, his dedication, his preparation, and just keeping it going. So fight by fight. <laughs> Listen, Rob, I can't thank you enough for your time, sir. Of Enjoy course. Manchester, and Thank we'll you. see you uh, throughout fight week, no doubt. Awesome. Thank you.